Of course, uh, once again, as mentioned in the headlines, over 125,000 people have been severely affected by this disaster situation uh, that has taken over the country. Uh, of course, these figures and uh, facts are coming to you uh, by the Disaster Management Center. Now, uh, moving on to an exact figure uh, issued by the Disaster Management Center today. Of course, the Disaster Management Center announces that the number of people affected by the inclement weather has risen to exactly 125,954 people. Uh, the assistant director of the DMC, Pradeep Kodipili, uh, have, has noted that 13 people uh, have died as a result of this disaster situation. Uh, now, 54,205 people have been displaced uh, owing to the disaster situation in the country, and they are currently seeking shelter at 215 camps. Also, it must be noted uh, that the inclement weather has affected 19 districts across the country. Also moving on, uh, the Kadwala Bridge located on the Kadwala Biagama Road was closed off for vehicular movement uh, since 8 tonight. Uh, of course, uh, the, vehicle, the bridge will remain closed until 6 a.m. tomorrow. Now, the Ministry of Higher Education and Highways said uh, that the bridge will open at 6 a.m. tomorrow. The Disaster Management Center elaborated on the present situation of uh, the, uh, the disaster situation that has affected the country at a media briefing held today. <laughs> The highest rainfall was reported from Ratnapura, which is 33.4 millimetres. Rain can be expected in the southwestern part of the country. In addition, showers or thunder showers will occur at times in the western, southern, Sabaragamwa, central and northwestern provinces. Moreover, showers or thunder showers will occur in Jaffna, Mena and Mulatiwu districts in the morning. Heavy falls of about 100 to 150 millimetres can be expected at some places. When there are thunder showers in the sea areas, the wind speeds can increase up to 70 to 80 kilometres per hour. This situation will prevail until the 26th. According to the date we obtained at 3.30 this afternoon, water levels of the Kalin River, Kalu River, Nilwala River, Ginganga and the Athanagaloya have receded. There is a drop in water levels in Nagaram Street along the Kalin River. However, there is a minor flood situation in the area. There is a minor flood situation in the Millakanda and Ellangave areas in Ratnapura as well as in the Anguruathot area. Water levels are gradually receding in the Nilwala River from the Akuras area and the Ginganga from the Badegam area. However, we must be cautious over the situation. <laughs> The red alert warning issued for several districts are still in effect. They are the Ratnapura, Kegol, Noor Elia, Kalutara and Gol districts. The warnings were issued to a number of areas in those districts. The phase 2 alert remains as it is. The reason we included Colombo and Gampaha is because there is a risk of earth embankments from collapsing in those areas.